Canadian Thanksgiving is Monday, so this is a weekend when we'd normally see a lot of our neighbors to the north coming across the bridges. The thing is, the borders still closed. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. Visitors can still only go one way across the bridge there, and there are an awful lot of questions about why that closure is still in place. To your side's Ron Plants has more tonight. October 21st could be another day with a possible announcement of an extension for a closed U.S. border to Canadian citizens. So Congressman Brian Higgins is again making his case that the border should be reopened to vaccinated Canadians. And it's just not health, it's wealth and well-being for the regional economy in his opinion. In fact, it's estimated by the U.S. Travel Association that the U.S. loses $400 million a month without Canadian visitors, and that filters down to the falls with a 10% drop in sales tax revenue this year. Higgins was also quick to bring up his point of a potential link by the Biden administration to the northern border and the southern border, which has numerous issues with undocumented individuals and comparable total vaccination rates. 56% in the U.S. versus under 40% in Mexico, and then Canada? In Canada, it's almost 72%. Uh, that is a, a, a stark difference. And uh, to justify a continued closure of the northern border to our Canadian neighbors uh, based on you know other issues at the southern border is unacceptable. Professor Edward Alden is an expert in U.S.-Canadian relations, and he lives in the northwestern border state of Washington. The administration uh, is under a lot of pressure, uh, particularly from, from people in the Democratic Party, to lift the restrictions on Mexico at the same time the restrictions are lifted on Canada. And that's awkward for the administration because of the situation right now at the southern border. To get another voice here on this border issue, I also spoke with Dr. Thomas Russo, the UB infectious disease chief who we heard from numerous times. And he says with his medical perspective, allowing U.S. entry for totally vaccinated Canadians with a recent PCR test as they require for U.S. citizens going in over there would pose little or no risk in his opinion for transmission of the virus causing COVID here in the U.S. But obviously we'll have to see what officials down in Washington, D.C., decide perhaps again come October 21st. Reporting live from Niagara Falls on the U.S. side, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.